Alright then, players, welcome to Rage Master's channel. No, uh, no trippy music, no bullshit visuals, just gaming. You're looking at my new creation in Space Engineers. This is the Eviscerator SUV. Small ship utility vehicle. It's got pretty much everything you might want to use as a solo engineer while you're playing through survival. It's a bit hard to build in survival at the moment, but I'll explain that later. Basically, we're looking at um, four modules to it. It's you can detach any of the modules and use them individually. We've got the grinder pod on the left, weld pod on the right. We've got the uh, drill rig underneath. And the centre piece is the eviscerator unit with the solar panels, batteries, collector, connector, jump drive, refining and assembling capabilities as well as storage. Um, I'll show you some of the unique uh, points of this vehicle, obviously. I decked it out with a full M Masters hood. So you've got your power readout, oxygen tanks, cargo space. A listing for everything you've got on board and um, it's context sensitive as well so that right panel on the bottom right there changes depending upon whether you've got the excavator pod docked or not so let me just show you something now if i press f9 it will undock the, um, the digging unit it's got like a semi-auto out feature So it attaches with the merge block on the top, connector on the back. And it's got um, thrusters placed so that you don't get any burn when you connect it to the top ship. There's actually a um, function which disables these thrusters so you don't burn the top of the other ship when you're docked. Features of this vehicle include a telescoping drill set. lights on. Lights are a little bit bugged in this version so I apologise for the lighting bugs. Drills are on um, a double stack of parallel pistons. So you can reach right far out in front. And personally this is my favourite way of manually drilling. This craft is just awesome. Landscaping as well. You don't have to have the drill stretched right out, you can stop them right there. Bring them right in. Useful for uh, stretching out and reaching out to get to places. So off when they've cleared the asteroids. To reattach, make sure you want hot bar one, press eight for the remote, press eight again for the camera. Line up the eviscerator with this green box. That should allow you to see where you're going slightly better. And just make sure that you tap forward thrust while centering the crosshair to the uh, green light. You'll click and your craft to reassemble. Take it somewhere else. There's currently a bug going on with this game at the moment where the thrusters disable on whatever pods you've reconnected to the ship, which is really frustrating. Uh, but it only affects the ship when it's all combined together. I'll show you the other pods now. Grind pod on the left, on the right even, on the left even. So yeah, so we disconnected the grind pod right now. It's on an auto out sequence. Grind that down.
So there we go guys, you've got the Eviscerator Munit. If you like this vehicle, make sure to download it off the workshop. I'll put the link on the uh, video description. If you've enjoyed this video, tune in in future to check out my Combat Craft, which I shall be uploading pretty soon. Alright, peace out everyone.